Nano Banana Pro, aka Gemini 3 Pro. For months, this model was the undisputed king of my workflow. We used it for everything. But lately, throttling, hallucinations, and honestly, it's been annoying me. I picked the two biggest challenges, OpenAI's GPT Image 1.5 and ByteDance's SeaDream 4.5. Today, we are doing a reality check. I took a complete project from a messy site plan to the final sales pitch and ran it through all three. Spoiler alert, one of them was a massive letdown and one of them might actually save my workflow. Let's start where every architect starts, a simple 2D cadastral map. I want a satellite view. Okay, Nanoganana Pro, the quality is actually really crisp. It nailed the proportions and the building shapes. Solid. Sea dream. I'm disappointed. Lots of hallucinations here. GPT image 1.5 looks good at first glance, like a nice aerial shot. But look closer. It barely got a single house right. It's just making stuff up. That's a fail. Quick heads up before we dive deeper. You might notice the interface looks different. That's because I'm running every single test in this video through RenderView, my own custom node-based web app. It allows me to combine NanoBanana, SeaDream and GPT 1.5 in one single workflow, save it and even share it. We are currently polishing the code and I'll be inviting the first beta testers exclusively via Discord. So if you want early access or just want to copy-paste the exact prompts from this video, hit the link in the description and join the community. Okay, let's try a better input. A 3D Google Earth screenshot. NanoBanana is incredibly accurate here. I'm struggling to find hallucinations even when zooming in. It respects the geometry perfectly. SeaDream looks decent, seems to handle 3D inputs better than 2D. GPT? It changed the shapes of the houses and moved the green zones. If I show this to a client, they'll ask why the neighbor's house looks different. Now for the messing test. I drew eight simple blocks in Autodesk Former. NanoBanana keeps the details nicely. But SeaDream? I have no idea what this is. Where did these shapes come from? And GPT? It completely failed the count. Let's take no image input, pure inspiration. I want ideas. Nano Banana looks all right. Levels are correct. Sea dream. The design feels dated, like architecture from 2010. Surprisingly, GPT Image 1.5 wins this one. The textures, the composition, it just looks the best. For pure inspiration, GPT takes the point. Back to precision. I'm feeding it a specific camera angle from Autodesk Forma. Three stories high. Nano Banana actually disappoints me for the first time today. I asked for three stories. Sea Dream ignored the perspective entirely. And GPT? Okay, I see you. It actually kept the camera angle and the height. It's not perfect, but I like it. Now, sketch to render. Nano banana, okay. The style, exactly what I wanted. It messed up one window, but the rest, balconies, path, spot on. Seadream put people in the correct spots, which is cool. But look at the ground floor, it's a mess. GPT looks okay, until you zoom in, too many errors. Windows are wrong, walls are wrong. Just slop, in my opinion. I ran Nano again. And guys, this is incredible. I can't even see the errors. This is why it was the king. Okay, transforming a raw construction site photo into a finished building. Geometry is key here. Attempts 1 and 2 were a disaster for everyone. Nano lost the reference, SeaDream hallucinated a new perspective. GPT produced garbage. 
Attempt 3. Nano Banana does a good job, but it left a construction crane in the picture. Maybe I should have prompted no crane, so I can't be too mad. Sea Dream is totally lost. GPT is solid, but again fails to hold the perspective perfectly. Funny side note. I found that if I remove the mention of people from the prompt, Nano Banana suddenly becomes precise again. Sometimes the reasons for failure are totally random. Then let's switch from exterior to interior. First, I'd like to convert construction sites of different room types into the final state. Let's start with the bathroom. The prompt is written very generally. Identify connections and place appropriate sanitary objects there. The connections were taken over correctly and objects like shower, sink and tub were placed correctly. What can I say about Sea Dream? Simply forgot half and depicted the other half wrong. Slop. GPT runs better than Sea Dream, but not really usable. Let's aim for a different style. Nano Banana Pro does a good job with consistency, but it doesn't really hit the style. Plus, the bathtub is missing. In such a case, the node system comes in handy, because you can easily add a bathtub. With Sea Dream, I'm slowly really doubting if the input images are processed at all. That looks really bad. On a renewed attempt, it works, so it's possible but rather luck than consistent. GPT actually hits the style best, I have to admit. Exactly what I actually wanted. However, the arrangement of the room is naturally wrong again. Let's try another bathroom. Maybe that works better. Nano Banana Pro gets going again and except for the window being too big and the wrongly placed toilet, I actually find it quite good. Sea Dream is doing its own thing again and simply doesn't process half of it. Here you can help out with another prompt, but how unnecessary. At least corrections work quite well. With Nano Banana Pro, we can naturally do that too. Move the toilet and shrink the window. GPT does it okay, but places the sanitary objects super randomly in the room again. Where do you even start correcting there? But GPT reacts quite well to changes and the result looks good. Let's try the whole thing with the kitchen now. We start with the construction site again. The prompt commissions the AI to analyze the image. Nano Banana Pro leads extremely well again. It's incredible how well the AI recognizes the existing structure and generates the image. Sea Dream starts hallucinating again and simply leaves windows out. GPT looks good, but has, for example, turned the window back left into a door. Otherwise, it's interesting how different the results are regarding the kitchen layout. Let's try something. We can create a mask for certain areas with Gemini. For example, the windows. We can use this as input and tell the AI these positions must be preserved. With this adjustment, Sea Dream can handle it better. Now to the living room. Starting point is a construction site again. So we want to get the finished renovated room first, before inserting furniture. Nano Banana Pro manages this very, very well, as always. Sea Dream leaves half out again and fails to keep the perspective. GPT looks better, but also doesn't come close to Nano Banana Pro. Starting from the finished renovated apartment, we want to furnish it in a specific style. Nano Banana Pro does an excellent job and inserts the furniture correctly and sensibly, although I don't 100% like the couch position, but well. And surprise, Sea Dream changes the perspective again without being asked unnecessary. Only after several attempts do we get the correct perspective, but the wall positions are totally wrong. GPT does a good job, although here too the walls aren't 100% correct. Better than Sea Dream? 
worse than Nano Banana Pro. Besides apartment renderings, there are public areas like hallways or staircases. Let's visualize a staircase directly from construction site to finished. Nano Banana Pro sticks very well to the geometry as always, but I don't like the look so much. Sea Dream changes the perspective again, but somehow I like the visualization more than Nano's. GPT sadly does lots of errors. The railing makes no sense and the geometry deviates too. Let's try another style. Nano Banana Pro seems to be having a hard time right now. A lot is wrong here. Sea Dream keeps the style well. But what is going on with the stairs going down? Why are the windows still the ones from the original image? Annoying. GPT is unusable here too. Apparently, we've suddenly arrived on the ground floor. Because where did the stairs going down go? Coming to a very important discipline. The style swap. Let's take a kitchen image and try to transform the style completely without changing geometry. Nano Banana Pro. That is very random. I would re-render that immediately. Where does it even get the windows from? Sea Dream is just as useless at this task. GPT-2. Where do these windows come from? We try another style and take the image from Nano Banana Pro as a base. I find it so random. Nano Banana Pro is now simply consistent with the first image again. That makes no sense. Sea Dream is at least accurate and adopts the windows as requested. GPT gave up completely. Let's try placing specific furniture pieces and see how well AIs handle multiple images. We have a sideboard, lamp, armchair and new flooring. Nano Banana Pro the furniture works well, but the floor doesn't. Needs to be split into multiple steps probably. Sea Dream adjusts the laminate, but gets confused with the furniture. Places everything accordingly, but changes the view to include the lamp, for example. GPT actually delivered the best result here regarding furniture and textures. If only there weren't these unnecessary errors always. Okay, let's try something else. We provide a rendering and want to create detail shots. We take the kitchen rendering and want a close-up of the chairs. Nano Banana looks good at first glance, but the pink in the background makes no sense. That should be dark. Sea Dream does a much better job here. Probably because this time it's finally allowed to change perspectives. GPT also does a good job but that is perhaps too close for me. You still want a reference to the kitchen slash room environment. Here, another close-up of the kitchen unit. Let's test if you can actually change the camera perspective with GPT image. Actually looks dope. I like it. Last but not least, we want to generate plans. Let's see where the biggest problems lie. We start with a simple scribble sketch of an apartment. Nano Banana Pro does a good job. Misinterpreted the shower, but otherwise super. Then comes GPT, and last place goes to Sea Dream. That's way too many unnecessary errors for me. I can partly accept wrongly placed objects, but wrong walls are weak and not good in this area. But how does it behave if we take a finished cat plan as input and want to change the representation based on it? Let's see. Nano Banana Pro is really on top level again right now. You can take this floor plan as is and nobody notices it's AI generated. Sea Dream interprets these clear lines from the cat plan significantly better than the sketch before. But I like the look rather less. Here you'd have to remove texts etc. GPT also has better performance. The straight lines and clear plans are apparently much easier for the AI to interpret than images. Now we want to make a slightly more special style from the CAD plan. 
only Nano Banana Pro is usable. And even there I see errors now. Here I would always create the CAD plan in architect software and only use AI for the look. Maybe it goes better with 3D floor plans. Nano Banana Pro actually does this quite solidly, but slight errors are still there. A trained eye sees that immediately. Seadream and GPT have no chance here and can't keep up. This style could get a bit more complicated now, because I want a colored variant with furniture. Nano Banana Pro shows clearly here too that it is the undisputed leader. How is an AI supposed to keep up with that? No hallucinations, if any. Only very scattered errors that you only see upon close inspection. If that worked consistently now, it would be perfect. Seadream and GPT can only dream of that, although GPT performs very, very well here too. Okay, wow. Nano Banana Pro really has the flow right now. The result is extremely accurate. Seadream has unfortunately completely given up and really doesn't want to do anything here anymore. GPT, well, looks okay, but in comparison, it's rather nothing. So, is Nano Banana Pro dead? Absolutely not. When it comes to plans, isometrics, and strict geometry, Nano Banana Pro is still the only tool I can professionally rely on. GPT Image 1.5 has caught up. It's great for pure inspiration, textures, and detail shots. It's less hallucinatory than it used to be, but it still struggles with strict spatial layouts. And Seadream 4.5? It's sloppy. It looks pretty, but it cheats. It moves walls, changes cameras, and ignores inputs. Use it for mood boards. I'm sticking with Nano for now, but I'm keeping an eye on GPT. I've uploaded the exact prompts to the Discord. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.